Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Total War Three Kingdoms 8 Princes Let's Play as Somawe. This is turning into quite the, uh, oh, I don't, don't know how to say it politely, but we're, 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 we're looking at, we're looking at some serious struggles coming up, folks. Uh, intentionally starting with diplomatic status view mode over here so you can see that hard, line all the way across the nation, that hard sort of path of red that we have to uh, fight through now. We are at war with Soma Ai down over here, Mao Ren, San Yu, Soma Ying, and Huang Xin. This whole thing is a front. And God knows when the North will come barreling towards me as well. It's going to be an interesting session, folks. Uh, we find ourselves in a very precarious situation. The most precarious of situations I found myself in a very long time in uh, Total War Three Kingdoms between my two Let's Plays that I've played. Uh, so it's, it's going to be interesting. I'll give it that. It's going to be interesting. Um, peace is not on the table. Many of you have expressed your displeasure at my even mere mentioning of peace being an opportunity, uh, you know, looking to, to, to calm things down. Perhaps some of you were more accepting of perhaps getting peace up to the north over here, just so we don't have to deal with uh, Soma Yong. This war has gone on for long enough. You know, it wouldn't, wouldn't cost us too much. Just a little bit of money, definitely not giving him vassalage. Uh, maybe. Something to consider. Something to consider. Of course, our friends over here uh, aren't uh, doing so well holding them back, but uh, we'll deal with that later, when push comes to shove. For now, the pushing and the shoving is going to be happening down south over here. Folks, I mean... I didn't think this would be the case, but we might actually take quite a few backward steps in this campaign right now. Not only that, we might actually lose... No. No, we, we, if anything, we'll be beaten and bruised, but we won't lose. There's no way we're going to lose this campaign. So let's, uh, let's keep our head in the game, let's stay focused, let's move as quickly and swiftly as possible, and make sure that we are holding back the onslaught and then pushing against it as soon as possible. Just want to mention, as always, folks, that if you've been enjoying this series and you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It does make a very big difference in how I approach content on the channel, uh, so do keep those likes and comments coming. Not only do I, you know, use them as guidance for the channel, but I also enjoy reading through them to just get, uh, you know, feedback or an understanding of what you guys are interested in, what you're looking for, things like that. Very helpful for me. Very, very helpful for me. So, for one, Soma Yang is going to make his way down this way. It's pretty quick, I think. One turn to get to there, two turns, three turns. We'll be close enough. We might lose the Lumber Yard over here uh, momentarily. We'll put up a good fight, but we're almost definitely going to lose it if they decide to attack. Um... And by the time we get over to here, we'll figure out if these guys are actually moving towards the weapons craftsmen or towards the lumber yard. Either way, we will hold them at uh, Sangyong at the farthest, I would imagine. Uh, and then we push back and we crush them and uh, have no issues whatsoever. Meanwhile, over here, again, we've got this ambush set up, hoping that these guys move towards uh, the Luling, the, the city of Luling. I don't know how likely that is, but, you know, we can we can hope. I could move out and leave it unoccupied so that it becomes a bit of a juicier target for these guys. And in fact, I do think I have to rush up north because these guys look like they're making their way towards the city of Poyang. Again, not sure. I could have sworn they were going towards the iron mine over here, but they, they skipped right past it. So I would assume they're headed towards the city of Poyang, or they're going to try something even trickier and maybe cross the river and, and really make this a wild goose chase. Uh, we'll have to see, I suppose. Time will tell. Let's go ahead and rush up, though. We have to do it. Um, otherwise, we're just... Oh, God. It's going to go terribly. Two turns, three turns. Fair enough. We can make it. Unfortunately, giving up on replenishment. Fairly weakened army, but... Better that than, than no defense at all, I think. Better that than no defense. Let's uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do. So over here, we just finished building this, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll be waiting on that replenishment. No money to be made in any way, shape, or form. Uh, we do have the forest skin and ancillary. Maybe we can look to uh, sell that if we wanted to get this upgrade going a step further. We need how much? 1260. So we need 500... 501 should do the trick. Let's go ahead and see if these guys are willing to take this off my hands for, let's say, oh man, I could probably get territory for this kind of, uh, for this kind of, uh, ancillary. 
We just need 500, but maybe we can go up to like a thousand over here. Oh wow, we can we can yes, we can make a lot of money over here. It's a pretty handy um ancillary. It's a very high quality one. Let me let me see if we can't trade something else. The military great axe, perhaps. Or perhaps No, I want the foreman. Maybe a clay a clay ox. Because I don't need this much money. Wow, but I'll take this much. I can't believe they want to pay that much for a clay ox. I mean, sure. I'm not going to complain. Done. Making sure I didn't have... I read that the wrong way or anything like that. Uh, either way, okay, so that... Well, cool. That, I mean, I'm, yes, happy about that. Let's go ahead and get this commissioned. Uh, and we'll rush it as well. We have the extra money. So now at least the uh, the garrison will be a bit stronger by the time they get to us. And then when the rebellion attacks as well, we'll have a slightly stronger garrison. Hopefully that allows us to turn our attention to uh, to the enemy a little bit faster. Uh, and I need to crush these two armies. I'm very curious as well. Very nervous about what this army is going to do. But uh, so my Yang is going to have to fend off both of these armies, I think. Oh god, it's going to be scary, folks. It's definitely going to be tense. That goes, I think, without saying, though I've already said it. <laughs> um... Yeah, let's, uh, let's get ready to, to hit that end turn button and see what the AI does, I suppose. Nothing to worry about over here. You know what? We could take a look at some of this tax exemption being removed. Because I would very much like to be making some money. Oh yeah, look at that. We can actually raise another army. In fact, in fact, I wonder if I would be wise to raise our tax rate 8,000 in one turn. This would be down to 97. That's scary. Anybody else getting extremely terrifyingly low? Wow, Poyang, despite the taxes, you're still going to be happy? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, it's because of the malcontents leaving for the rebellion, right? Of course. Uh, yeah, you know what? Oh, this is... Ending would have a rebellion. So let's go ahead and give you tax exemption. I'm making a lot of money. And Sholfang give you tax exemption as well. We get nothing from you, do we? Well, we get uh, the reduction in in upkeep costs and stuff. So fine, let's get you the tax exemption as well. And yeah, we can go ahead and go with this extremely high tax rate for one turn. And that will allow us to raise another army. Perhaps, I, I mean, I'll see where these guys move and I'll raise an army accordingly. But maybe we want to get an assignment going Rally conscripts, no. Reduces recruitment cost, which isn't bad. Oh, yeah, you know, that's not bad at all. Maybe I should get that going. Okay, where? Where would we recruit? Xiangyang, perhaps? It would bring us closest. If we do it at uh, Xiangyang... See, we've got this army coming down this way. That can push that way. If we get an army at uh, Xiangyang or at Jiangling, we could shut these guys down a little bit faster. It's all a matter of if I want to play defensively or offensively. Because where are you going? Becomes the question. Are you moving towards the city of Jiangling? And if you are... Hmm. You know what? Let's do it at uh, Jiangyang. The toolmaker here as well. Yeah, let's do it at Jiangyang. Uh, because what we're going to want to try and do is, uh, if these guys go down this way, we'll raise the army at the toolmaker. If they come up this way, we'll raise the army at the city. And that way we're able to recruit and, you know, get numbers and everything. Yeah, that seems like the right call. So let's go ahead and get Soma Fan. Or let's get... Because Soma Fan is going to actually lead the next army, I think. Uh, sure, Ju, though. You, with your rally conscripts. Now, it hurts our fury a little bit. But it does push our might alignment just over the edge there, which is extremely helpful with the movement range and stuff right now. So sure. Hurts our fury, unfortunately, but I think we're going to have to pay that price. Reduce that recruitment cost. Yeah, sure, Ju. Let's go ahead and rally conscripts at Yang. Cool. I, th I think I'm happy with that. And then we can raise another army. With, with the amount of money we're making, we can raise another army. It'll be a small, it won't be a full stack right off the bat. But at least it'll be something. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our first turn as we devolve into this uh, hot mess. A very, very hot mess. There it is. That's what I was expecting last time. 
So I don't think we're going to come out on top, if I'm completely honest. Sure, we've got some cavalry, we've got some swords and some spears. I don't think we have nearly enough to deal with uh, what's coming towards us, though. I believe they have fiery arrows as well. Yeah, so we're, we're definitely, definitely in a bit of trouble. We'll try our best. We fought against worse odds in the past. Let's dive on into the battlefield. Let's see what we can do. All right, folks. Let's see what we can do. They're all clumped up together, looking like they're going to move down this way. That's great, because that means these towers, all of our towers can fire. Uh, these archers of Ding need to be shut down. Because they're the ones with the fiery arrows. They're the only ones with the fiery arrows. But I wonder... I wonder... Okay, let's pull everybody back. Let's go ahead and get set up over here. How many... What have they got? They've got some cavalry, obviously. they got a fair bit of cavalry, actually. Some spears, some swords. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and get our spears up front over here. And our G Militia over here. Well, actually, let's get the G Militia over here. I'll explain why in a second. Go ahead and get these swords back over here. And another unit back over here. I want to get these Mounted Saber Militia over here. And then you guys... Whoops, no. You guys all over here. Whichever way, sure. They're face that way, good stuff. Group you up. Let's get you over here. And let's get you over here. Now, the reason why I've done this is because I want to send the Mounted Saber Militia out right away to try and scare these Archers of Ding out. Uh, it's a risky move because these guys will get pinged by literally everything. They'll get shut down by the enemy cavalry as well. But I'm trying to... I, I think if I can buy some time for my uh, my towers, then I might be able to cause enough damage to, theirs, uh, to their Archers of Ding, allowing my towers to survive. Because those towers will make such a big difference in this battle. They'll make such a big difference in this battle. Um, and we need them. We need them. Because they're going to be funneling down this one way. And look at how much... It's all, it's all this overlap that we don't want to lose, right? So yeah, let's go ahead and pull you back a little bit. So the archers have to move closer if they want to attack our uh, soldiers. Um, but yeah, basically immediately we're going to move up there and try and scare those guys off. Micro has to be on point. Let's begin. Go. Oh. Let's go, let's go, and start firing immediately. You as well, as soon as you can. Okay, come on, start firing, good. Looks like we're going to start eating shots already. What are you up to? What are you up to? Come on. Not firing yet. Why aren't you firing at me? Why aren't you firing at me? Okay, pull back, pull back, get back. Get you up there. Firing at those archers of Jing, please. Let's go, let's go. Hurry it up, get a nice charge there, maybe. This is definitely a sacrificial unit. Very much knowingly a sacrificial unit. Okay, good stuff. Pull back over here. Get you up. Let's go. Flip over here. Good stuff over there. Those archers taken care of. Let's pull back over here. Try to scare these archers off. Ah, they're coming in to intercept. Let's go. Let's go. Go up that way. Let's go. Working out well enough, though, for now. Firing over here. Get you firing over here. Face down over here. Let's go. Get charge in there. Move you up. Spears are coming when I have our swords at the ready. Want to also have our rear charges at the ready, of course. Come on, get in there. Get in there, damn it! <laughs> Come around, pull up there. Okay, here they come. Nope, oh, turn around. That's exactly what I was trying to stop. And here I am, letting it happen. Come on, drop them. Move you up. Let's go. In we go. All right. Cavalry, your turn. Pull out. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. Move you up as well. Yeah, keep these guys on their toes. Excellent. We are eating some shots, but that's fine. Okay. Good job holding the line over there. Let's move these G Militia up. Send you through if possible. Try it. Okay. Hold on those guys. Let's pull in. Let's go. 
go, let's go, let's go. It's one of you moving over here. Get you moving up there, let's go. Let's get you chasing down over here, let's go. Our men through the battlefield. Oh, cavalry. Of course. Of course. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get you over to here. Let's pull you down this way. Get a nice rear charge over here. Sure, I mean, it was a rear charge. And a side charge. You're gonna come down over here. Destroy that nonsense. Towers have survived. That's worked out quite well. Up over here, we're gonna get another charge. A nice, clean charge, I hope. Looking good. Oh my god, yes. Trample them. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, no time to waste. Ah, the camera's moving so slow. There we go. Get you both back. Doing okay over there. Yep, those archers have been scared off. Let's go ahead and turn you around. Push in this way. Fire down over here, please. Let's get you firing down over here as well. Keep you pulling away. Rear charge over here. Doing well. Doing well over there. Those guys are scared off. Good stuff. Put you down over here. Get you out of there. Um. Oh man, I almost don't know which way I want to go here. Get you out. Get you out. Always scary leaving archers alive. Chase here a little bit. Just five of them left. Pull back. Get out of there. Get you out of there. Spears up. Actually, let's pull you down. Spears, let's get you up over here, please. Down here, let's go. Pushing this way. I want to get the swords up here if possible. Pull you back. Keep pulling you back. Let's go. Let's uh, crush through these guys, hopefully. Bring you around as well. Try and crush through these guys. They are completely loose. They should not be able to withstand these charges. Pull you in that way as well. Let's get out of there. Soon. Come on, come on, come on. Get that charge in there. They get a good one. Decent. Not the best, but decent. Hopefully good enough. Let's go ahead and pull you back up this way. Want to get another charge in. Get these over here. Let's go. No time to waste. Back over here. What's happening? These guys are coming through. Looking like it. Getting that position over there. Pulling these guys back. Okay, we're good. Charge in there. Charge in there. Trying to get these guys to break. Oh, looks like we're losing this tower over here. That's not so ideal at all. They keep you over here, actually. You hold the line over here. Don't know if we'll make it in time. Let's go. How are you doing over here? Doing okay. Let's pull you back. Let's go ahead and pull the rear charge over here. Let's get you out of here. Buddy's getting scared. That's good. Good. Keep you pulling back. Keep you pulling back. Let's go. Come on. Form up. Form up properly. They're forming up over here. Oh, baby. This is not going to be great. Pull you in this way. Let's go. Shut down those archers. Shut them down. Shut them down. Let's go. Moving. You, let's pull you off to the side, let's pull you off to the side, let's pull you back, let's go. We're okay over here. We should probably pull you out this way, let's go. Hurry it up. Went okay over here. Get a charge down here, maybe. It's a risky charge, but let's do it. And send you down. I need to send, you know what, let's get these swords over here. Get you out, let's go. Get you out. You're fine. This isn't so good. We're holding the line, but we're losing that tower. We're gonna get the charge up there. Ooh, in comes Buddy. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Fire up there, please. Try and get behind these guys to get some good rear charges there. He's looking like he's about to give up. Let's go ahead and get a charge in here. Let's go. The militia, let's pile you in. Still holding the line over here. Coming around the side. Let's go. Pull you up. Pull you up. Get you out of there. They've got, they've made their way through. We're supposed to be surrendering. Okay, good charge over here. It looks like it. Go in. Pull you up this way. Let's go. Pull you up that way. Alright, good hit. Good hit. Good work over here. But he's still giving up. Try and bring you around the side there. What are you, why are you? Go, go, go. Pull you guys back. Need to get another charge in. It's not good. Pull you over this way. Let's go. Need to figure this out. 
are we doing over here? We're doing all right. Not perfect, but all right. And we've lost these towers. Firing up there. We away as well. Still holding the line there. A little scaring Buddy off. Close to it, at least. A charge in there, maybe. Hold. Got to absorb that charge. All right. Okay. Okay. Not not terrible. <laughs> not perfect, but not terrible. Still causing some trouble over here. Back over here. We're holding. We're holding. Power is still firing. Go and get the cavalry back over here. Same thing with you. Let's get you back over here. Let's go. Getting some work done. Some work done here as well. Good stuff. He's getting scared off again. Still holding the line. Still very much holding the line. Ah, oh, but he's back again, damn it. <laughs> Come on, get in here. We gotta scare these guys off. Causing some hurt up there. Yeah, well enough. Back over here, we're firing as well. Ha not having this tower is definitely hurting us. This would have made such a big difference if, if we held on to that. Just pulled back a little too far. And we come with another rear charge against the G Militia, hoping to break these guys. Come on now. Be back. Keep coming this way, let's go. Oh, get out of there, get out of there. Okay, we're doing okay up there. Is he unbreakable? Oh my god. Can't deal with unbreakable right now. <laughs> Doing okay. Too big of a clump over there, though, I think. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Break them. How are they not giving up on the fight? How do you still want to fight? Pull them back again. Doing okay over here. Wondering if these guys should be brought back. It's such a long path. I'd rather bring out from the front. Close, we're close. Get back here. Back here, let's go. Good stuff, he's given up. He's close to giving up as well. We've done a fair bit of damage. And we come once more. Better charge this time around, it looks like. Pull you back, these guys are wavering finally. Oh, damn time. How are we looking over here? Looking okay. And we're help in place. Our warriors run. What? Why would you surrender? We're doing so well. I, I can't lose that cavalry. That'll be that'll be death. That'll be death. Kinda holding the line over here. Move up against the peasant raiders. So, oh, if I can get this tower back, that'd be great. They got these archers to give up on the fight. Ah, we're losing this tower over here. It's not hot. Those those cavalry units are going to leave. Hey, okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Holding the line. Let's push. Well, actually, let's keep you over here. Get you two over here. Let's go. And you threw. But he's been hurt. Man, these, uh, these infantry of Ding, they're not messing around. Maybe stay put. At least we're getting this tower back. That'll be helpful. We've lost this one. Oh, we're almost overrun. Again, if we had those cavalry units, we might have been fine. We might have been fine. Okay, good, good, good. We're overwhelming them here. The odds, though, are just not in our favor. Come on. Come on, finish them off. Finish them off. Hold the line, damn it. And we're, we're dropping our flags too quickly over here. I mean, we, we've caused a fair bit of damage. There is that. There is that. This army is basically a husk of what it was. And our other army uh, that's coming this way anyway will, uh, will help finish the job off. So, I guess I'm not too upset about how this went, all things considered. My god, these guys valiantly holding the line over here. If I'd been a little bit quicker to respond in, in some of these cases, we would have held on to the towers for longer. 
And that would have made all the difference in the world, I think. Especially on this right flank. Especially on this right flank. But hey, we're still, we're still getting the work in. We're still getting the work in right now. Over here, we're about to get this tower back, it looks like. Oh, I wonder if I want to charge down over here or not. Come on, push in, push in, push in. We are firing up there. Oh, no, hello. Hold. Hour is almost ours. They're going to break through in no time, though. The sheer quantity. The numbers game. The sheer quantity is just way too much. Our men are running. No, you were so important to the cause. Damn it. Oh, yes, good. We've got you back. Try and kill him and, and get them to break. It'll be hard, but we can try. We can try it. And over on this side, we're starting to waver. Still, the towers are firing. Come on. Ah, we've lost this tower. Ooh, but we have pushed back their cavalry. Now, the G militia shouldn't be a problem for us. The G militia shouldn't be a problem for our, our swords. So we've got this tower still. Come on, come on, come on. Get the work done. Get the work done. Hold the line, damn it. Hold the line. Yeah, we're, we're losing this for sure. For sure. Oh, scared these guys off. All right. Next turn, I should be able to strike, I think. Maybe the turn after. But we're, we're close enough to hit this city very soon. I'm actually surprised at how well this went, if I'm honest. I should have been able to win this, though. I don't know, maybe I'm being too hard on myself, but I feel like on a better day, I would have won this. Pull you back. Do not falter. Do not surrender. I swear to God, if we can kill her, her off, I feel like we would probably break some of these units. By virtue of their general being dead. Over here, we're almost done. No. Swords have surrendered once more, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, well, we tried. Certainly tried. Hold the damn line, men. I hate that he's unbreakable. That's making all the difference in the world right now. He would have given up otherwise. We scared off both of their generals on this side. Still firing away? Nah, there it is. There it is. A valiant defeat. A defeat nonetheless. We whittled them down significantly, though. Like, most of these units are completely obliterated. They will They will probably hold the city, but we're coming in with trebuchet to relieve uh, the mines. We will have our vengeance. We'll put them all to the sword. Every last one of them. I mean, we did a lot of damage. 2,200 killed. We did a lot of damage. Too many of these units have survived, actually, not taking enough damage to, to actually fall apart, but it's okay, it's okay. Oh, you have two armies. Oh, you have three armies. Oh, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, let's see. Yep, we've lost the Iron Mine, of course. Ain't another war breaking out over there. Sacrifice for the spirits. To offer up sacrifice to the spirits is a central tenet of Taoism. Although Zhang Daoling aggressively forbade the sacrifice of food and animals, the practice of burning hell money is still encouraged as a way of honoring departed ancestors. A new year begins, a new opportunity to steer your people towards their destiny. Very well. A personal tutor. Ooh. You have heard that a scholar renowned for his wisdom is traveling your lands. Were you to host him for a time, he may see fit to teach you, and you may learn something valuable from his lessons. But host him for a slight fee, or I could send him away. I don't really need that bonus to, uh, experience, I don't think, for some way. I'm gonna send him away, I think. Yeah, send him away. This is not the time for learning. The entire nation is at war. Be gone. Now is not the time for leisurely pursuits, perhaps on some other occasion. I do like how I often say what lines up perfectly with what the game's writing ends up being. Uh, okay, so you will have some time to replenish, but you're pretty badly hurt. Um, this garrison over here, I'm hoping, will be able to hold off this rebellion should it attack. 
Looks like we did not get to pull off the ambush over here, but that's okay. We can go in with some lightning strikes and finish them off. We're close enough this time around. Yep. Uh, but the big problem is up over here. Here. Oh, they've got three armies. Where did you go? You didn't go anywhere. Great. So my recruitment cost reduction might have been wasted because I might want to recruit up at uh, the small city of Xiangyang instead. It looks like these guys have to go up this way. Hopefully Hanzong will be able to hold. I could recruit at Xiangyang and then use the river to get to the enemy instead. These mountain passes slow you down so much. We're, again, we're probably, if I'm honest with myself, probably losing the Weapon Craftsman. Got Fire Arrows. Quite a few Archers with Fire Arrows, in fact. The Towers aren't going to be lasting very long at all over here. Got a fair amount of Cavalry, so, you know, maybe we could cause enough damage that way. But I don't know. I just don't know. So it's like, do we raise the army at Sangyang? Because the threat down here has disappeared for now. And then that would allow this army to go this way. Alternatively, I move this army down this way. Oh my god, this is such slow traversal. Such slow traversal. Well, let's go ahead and move up to here for now. Because we know we have to decide, depending on where these guys go, they might just stay back. This isn't actually a big threatening army. Our Lumberyard's garrison should probably be able to take that on. This army, I mean, sheesh, I, I, could, I could recruit an army at the Hanzong and hold these guys back potentially. But that seems like that would just leave an opening down over here instead. In this entire in this entire region. Yeah, okay, for, fine, fine, fine. So so Shangyang, I think, is where we're gonna raise the army. Unfortunate, yes, a, a waste of uh, an assignment. And in fact, I could even recall um from a Tao for one. And uh Shurju as well. And at Shangyang, small city of we shall raise an army. Led by... Oh, man. So tempting to get some of these armies that have... Well, some of these full retinues. But... So, my fan. My son. You will lead this army. You will take with you... Mmm... I'm tempted to take, uh... Her Shang. At least there's some units in this already, but we'd probably replace them. You know what, Mei Drew has like a composition I would probably keep. Do we have any... no. Oh, Shoma Tao, unfortunately, he's on his way back. I should have oh, brought him back previously. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, we can get uh, Mei Zhu. And we need a strategist as well, of course. Dang Ti, I guess, is the only option we have. Uh, Gong Xun Mo, no. Dang Ti, at least he's closer to level 4. This is a desperately put together army. Uh, we're going to go ahead and recruit over here. Got the money for it. Get some uh, medium spear guard, I think. If I get you. Like so. Top you up. Oh, that's all the money we have. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, let's replace the G Militia. With some trebuchet. Yup. Yeah. And you. Let's replace you. With some more trebuchet? Or no, with some... Archers, I suppose. They're cheaper. We can afford them. We can afford a couple of them. Trying to do the math in my head real quick. One, two, 
replacements. 400 and 540, 550. This is obviously cheaper. We can afford either, though, is the thing. So let's go ahead with this. Reason why I'm doing that is because with the 500 or so left over, a bunch of archers, some cavalry archers, some trebuchet, we could get some more cavalry, perhaps. Yeah. Or... Hmm... I think I'd probably prefer more cavalry. Oh, it's hard to say, because we don't really have much of a front line, is my concern here. We can only get one more unit, basically. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Sorry, I know I'm mulling this over a lot more than maybe expected, but this, uh, this is a, this is a very important army right now. You know what? Let's leave it be for now. Let's get you some more cavalry. Okay. Now, someone is unhappy in here, it seems. You're happy, of course. You're not so happy. You're unhappy. Let's go ahead and give you... Well, this doesn't really help you all that much. What better weapon? No. I, I guess... Well, hold on. First of all, you... Well, let's give you the Herdsman. So we can use the Wedge Formation over here. Um, I guess we could give him Modi. Just give him that, that Resolve. Sure, is a, a little wasted, but he's got the Satisfaction Bump as well. Temporary, but I don't want to lose my Fury right now. Not in the situation I'm in. Thankfully, Zhang Ti has also got Fire Arrows and Night Battles, and he's close to getting uh, Flaming Shots. So, you know, that's, 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 that's good. That feels good, at least. So this is all right. Not perfect, but it's all right. Let's go ahead and get you... A punishment. Campaign movement range. And... Armor for all spear infantry. Probably the way to go. Yeah, let's go with that. Cool. Done. Excellent. Beautiful. Very happy. Let's give you the heirloom spear as well. Very fitting item for you. And you over here, you're fine, looks like. You're all fine. Okay, we're all set up over here. So this actually feels like a decent army. I can pop them into the city. Top up their uh, supplies, our taxes. We can drop and still make money, which feels good. We don't have to worry about rebellion as much. So there was one that was imminent at Guangling. Hopefully not anymore. Nope, still imminent. Let's go ahead and give them tax exemption. But we've got some spots where I believe we can start taxing them again. And ding... Go ahead and tax you. Yep, excellent. That <laughs> that offsets the the deficit in Shuofang. I mean, you're not going to make us any money either way, but why should they get exe exemption? Why should they get exemption? All right, so that's that taken care of. I feel a little bit more comfortable now that we have this army en route. Not a full stack, but, you know, when have we had one? Um, with a little bit more money, I would have replaced the G Militia as well, and we do have the time to do it, is the thing. Even if we lose the weapon craftsman next turn, which almost guaranteed is going to happen. We have the time to uh, swap out some of these units still. This is a six turn journey, um, which is in some ways unfortunate that I had to deploy up there, but that's okay because this army has to be diverted up there. And over here, I'm hoping that uh, after uh, Guan Yushan takes care of this army, she can push up this way quickly enough that uh, uh, Xian Yu has to pay attention to his own territory rather than push into mine. We'll see, though. We'll see. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and get you moving up this way towards the iron mine. Yes, please. Get you over. Next turn, we'll attack. And then down over here, it's time to strike. Now, I could attack this army, force them all out into the open, defeat them all at once, or I could um, put a lightning strike. These guys, get them out of the picture. Lightning strike, sorry. Getting Warhammer in my head now. <laughs> Night battle these guys, uh, and then focus on these guys after. You know, let's, let's, let's hit the Lumberyard. Decisive defeat, make it a night battle. Still a decisive defeat. Wow, interesting. Okay. Yes, the garrison's numbers are fairly large. 
We can try to demand their surrender. They're of course going to say no. Fair enough. Looks like we'll have to kill each and every one of them. To the battlefield we go. Alright folks, this is a big one. This is a very big one. We've got towers, of course. We've got flaming arrows, though, so there's that. I don't think they'll be sallying forth, unfortunately. Uh, quite a few of these towers do have to be taken out. Quite a few of them have to be taken out. Let's go ahead and form up on this side. Let's go ahead and get, uh, let's see. Again, I, I don't think they'll be sallying forth. Do that, and then at that, at that. We can form up like this. Seems right, yep. So we fire away with our fiery arrows. Get you guys grouped up real quick. There we go. Loose formation. You're able to focus down on all of these. Right. Take all that nonsense out. Go ahead and get a couple of you over here. Take out some of this nonsense. And once these two towers are taken care of... Oh, do we have to worry about these guys? Uh, only if we want to go through here. So we got to take care of these two. These two, of course. And then these two. This one over here. What about you? Um... Ish, sort of. We can sneak through that way. What I'd like to maybe do is get our cavalry grouped up and moving up this way through these towers to get in and behind the enemy. Hopefully we make them believe that our entire aggression is going to come up this way and maybe this way a little bit. Uh, and we'll see how that works for us. We'll see how that works for us, if that works for us. And I really am counting on the trebuchet today to get some work done. These guys have got to get some work done. You guys are set up right. You guys are set up right. Feeling pretty comfortable. Everyone's in position. We've got our cavalry in position as well. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's do this. Shall we? Yep, let's begin. Now, in some ways, if we're really lucky, they're actually going to sally forth. I severely doubt that's that's even a consideration. Okay, okay, okay. Fine so far. Our cavalry could actually crash through there. It's They're so slow, though, is the other thing. They're so slow. All right, up we move, ready to fire. Loose formations, of course, eating some shots, but soon enough we will let loose. Yeah, just got to get a couple of shots in, and then we'll pull back into safety. We need to play this patiently. Need to pay this patiently. We just gotta get these things lit up. My two, 14, 15 over there. Are you almost done? 24, 23. Come on now. 40, that one's been lit up. This one's almost lit up. Yeah, let's go. Fall back. Fall back. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Over here, we're done. Over here, we're almost done, I think. Fire right, over there. Pull you back. You're not really shooting all that well. I think it's a matter of angles. One last set of shots. There we go. Pull both of you back. Let's go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Down go these towers. Not a problem. Let's go ahead and get some artillery fire back over there. Oh my god. That was beautiful. <laughs> I can't see them for much longer. There we go. They've disappeared. Fair enough. But we did a bit of damage, and that's all that matters. It's all that matters. These towers will drop soon, and then we can focus on those towers over here. What's your range? Pretty far, unfortunately. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. We'll move up, get rid of these towers as soon as these ones are done. Looks like it's almost over. In fact, this one is very much dead. Let's go ahead and get you firing up there, and get you firing up here. All right, we're back over here, safe. These guys are out, good, beautiful, lovely. Uh, our archers will hopefully be able to spot some enemy forces over here as they move forward this way, and that way our artillery can fire. Alternatively, we can start creeping forward. In fact, let's start creeping forward. Go. You guys, oh, we don't have, yeah, we do. I was like, mm, don't tell me I don't have uh, the formations I need. Here, we're firing away. Artillery is almost able to fire here. In fact, let's begin. And you can only get one shot. Oh. Lost sight. Fire over here, let's go. 
Here we go. Get a good hit, please. Oh, we're not gonna be able to tell. Ah, uh, one can hope. One can hope. Go firing away. Getting some work done over here. And over here, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. More volleys coming through, I hope. Nope. Gotta get the order again. You've been set alight. And you've been set alight, yep. Yeah. Go ahead pull you guys back. I wanna fall back to here at least, I think. Shot's still coming through. Come on now. Come on now, I need you to hit. Need some good old fashioned solid square hits. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Give me more of that. More of that glorious fire carnage. Yes. Not as good. I want to cheer them on. Every general has to be a good cheerleader, right? Come on. There we go. Good hits, good hits, decent hits. Yeah, not too shabby, not too shabby. Wondering if we want to change our uh, focus a little bit. Fire up over here, maybe. These guys are nicely clumped up right now as they're moving in. Let's fire up there. I just don't like those uh, trees and whatnot. You know, let's fire back over here. They're pretty well clumped up. Towers have all been taken care of, so that's good. Now our cavalry can rush into position. Uh, let's go ahead and keep our infantry moving forward. Get our archers moving forward as well. In come these shots. Let's hope they do some work. I'd say that was pretty good. Right on over here. Cavalry, you're ready to roll. Do it. A lot of archers up there, though. Got to be careful. Archers, fire. Go. Oh, come on. How can you miss like that? How can you miss like that? Alright. I need to be very wary of my, uh... Cavalry. Okay, there we go. Fiery arrows coming through as well. Okay, let's change your targets. Fire back over there. Archers will take care of these guys. You guys are coming through. Is that really all of our cavalry? I guess it is. Hmm. Ah, they still have spears over here. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Pull back. <laughs> that's that's a no-go zone then. Pull back, get back. Clever boys and girls, clever boys and girls. Fair enough. Keep firing, this might be an infantry slog then. At least for a little bit. Really appreciate more accurate shots. At least these guys are starting to give up. Pull you over a little bit. Stop setting alight your own trees. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Firing up over here. Scared the G Militia off, perhaps. We're close enough? Yeah, we're close enough. Okay, these guys are gone. Artillery fire is still coming through. Those look like some decent hits. Look at those clumps. It's too bad about the uh, spears I hadn't noticed earlier. I'm trying to figure out the best approach. We're getting good hits over here. Could move the swords up that way. Could move these swords up this way. Move the swords up this way as well. But that's a lot of range fire they'll, they'd suffer under. Let's keep this going for a little bit. See how long they can stand tight over there. Those archers are causing us some trouble as well. Not a fan of that, obviously. Artillery starting to run low on ammunition. Good hits. Good hits. What else can we fire at? Fire back there. They're still squared off. Maybe we can get a good direct hit up there. We would do a lot of work. You guys, let's pull you over this way. You don't look like you're firing as quickly as you can be. You're slowing us down a lot. Okay, decent hits. Oh, are they coming at us? Ah, they wouldn't dare. They wouldn't dare. Okay, fire up that way, please. Get rid of those archers. Taking a lot of damage over here. Let's go. Alright, these guys are very close to breaking. Move all of you up. March you up. Good, these guys are giving up. Cavalry, let's go. 
Go, let's go, let's go. This way, please. Firing up over here as well. Yeah, getting some work done. Charging over here. Charge you in over here. Let's go. You guys are dropping. Let's pull you back. Cavalry's coming through. You guys are going to try to box up. Stop him from doing that. Go up over here. Range fire coming through. Right over here. Good work over there. Enemy flees over here. Good stuff. Push through. You down over here. Yep. Push up. Push up. Let's go. They're not ready for this. Oh, we're out of ammo. Look a bad charge there. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Let's move. Let's go. Not doing too hot over there. Not doing too hot over there at all. Pulling you guys back into safety. Push you up this way. Let's go. Push you up this way as well. Come on. Up that way. Push you up this way. Trying to hold the line as best as possible. Got to hold against these guys. Come on. Let's go. Cavalry should be able to filter through here now. I think their spears have moved over this way. Hoping at least. Holding the line over here. Archers, fire away. Back over here. Get out. Oh, you're already out. I hate when the icons do that. Yeah, let's pull you over to here. Push you through. Let's go. Push you through as well. Get you out. Oh, we're firing away up over here. Regular shots, please. I need to hold the line over here. That's a lot of range fire we've, we've fallen under. Might lose that unit. And we go, and we go. Push. The spear's up here as well. The holding line over here. Spear's doing well. Over here, how are we doing? These swords are doing okay. Causing a fair bit of damage. We could get some shots in there. Nah. Unnecessary, I think. Fine over here. Are we able to pull over and around? Or do we want to go down this way? Pushing this way. Pushing this way. Let's go. Get you up this way here as well. So nicely clumped up right now. A couple good charges will do so much work. Let's pull you up that way if possible. Try and creep past over here. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Come on now. Push through, push through, push through. Do as well. Come on, some way. Good stuff. How are we doing over here? We're holding the line. Shot's still coming through. Going to fiery arrows for a second. Alright, in we go. Up we go. Pull you back, maybe. It's dangerous, because they do have those infantry of ding. Pull you up, let's go. Alright, looks like we've broken through. Looks like we've broken through. Over here, we're doing okay. Scaring Buddy off, causing a fair bit of damage. Fire over here. Big old clump, scare these guys off. Yeah, we've broken through over here. We have some archers up over there still. Oh my god. Loop you around. Loop you around. Keep you chasing this. I'm out of ammo now. Keep you engaged over here. Keep you engaged over here. Let's pull the cavalry back and around. It's going to be a long run for them. But we're going to have to take it. Okay, turn to fiery arrows. Again, try to scare some of those G militia off. Spears are doing well enough over there. Come on, wait. Come on, hurry it up, man. Hurry it up. There's no time to waste. No time to waste. Keep those guys engaged. Let's uh, push you over this way. Let's go. Holding the line there. Wow, we might actually lose these two units. The two spearmen. Pull you up this way. Come on. Good stuff. Good stuff over there. Turn around, destroy buddy. I think we've got this. Just a matter of uh, losses. This is going to be expensive, unfortunately. We're in a very expensive battle. Well enough over there. He's surrounded over here, so am I. Oh, no. Hello. That's not good. Also not good. Push you through. Gotta shut down these archers. 
Gotta shut down these archers. Let's go. They're out of ammunition. That's good. Pushing through over here to help. Archers are almost completely out. Regular shots. Oh god. Go. Everyone fights. Everyone fights. Bring around. Chase this way. Let's, uh... Some always should not be chasing down this way. Get you coming up this way. You guys, let's go. Still holding down over here. Doing okay over here. Piling in. I almost feel like we should chase these guys down. Because you never know when they'll come back at us. Doing okay over there, but he's about to give up. Nobody survived. Oh my god, horrifying. The first time I've received that message, I think, ever in playing uh, Three Kingdoms. Pull back, get away from these uh, G-Militia, just in case. A little scary sometimes. Got you coming through, get a charge in there, perhaps. On my way, who's firing at you? Uh, up over here. Go. And you through, let's go, let's go. We're doing okay over here. Now this is a fight. This is a fight. Let's go down over here. Gotta shut this nonsense down. Put you up over there, yes. Done well enough over there, let's pull you back. Ooh, are we gonna creep through? Looks like we'll make it. Turn you around. Go, 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 I need you in there. Get you up here. Okay, and we go for a charge, good stuff. Tomawe is not gonna leap from the back. It's gonna lead from inside the enemy settlement. Okay, let's push you up, we're good over here. Pull you through. Get out of there. Okay, good stuff, they're giving up on the fight. Over here, hmm, this is not good, we've lost, we're, we're losing so many units. Kinda crazy actually. In we go with a nice charge over here, oh actually go over here. Good rear charge over here will destroy this unit hopefully. Yep. Oh my god, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go up there. Almost over. Yeah, see these guys did come back on the fight. Okay, good, good. Still fleeing. Still got them fleeing. That's a dangerous rear charge. Pull you up this way. Pull you over this way. Let's go. Pull you over this way. Need to get away from Samai. Oh, he's the only one left. He's the only one left. Kill him. Focus him down. Get these guys to break. They are really willing to stand and fight, aren't they? Come on. Come on, Shurju. Nice. No. No. You're kidding me. How? How does that happen? Oh, what are the chances? I was thinking in the back of my mind as well. What is the likelihood of both of them falling at the same time? And apparently high enough. Apparently high enough. This has been an expensive battle. This has been a most costly battle. Charge them down. Let's get some rear charges over here. Let's finish this off. I knew it would be pricey. I did not think it would be this pricey. Let's go. They're almost done. I think we've lost Shurju. Poetic timing there. The game giving us victory right after I say that. Peric, that is an understatement. That is an understatement. Hopefully we can get our troops back quickly enough, but we lost more or less everything here. More or less everything. Including a beloved friend. Wow, surprisingly many of these guys actually survived. I've gained far more than three fury, I can tell you that. Oh, it seems he survived? But we got fallen relative. Either way. Either way. None of you. Well, we've only captured the one. Huang Fu Shang? No. You've incurred my wrath. Die. Occupy that. Oh. 
We're fine. I guess he was merely injured? We got the fallen relative. Oh no, Suma I is the fallen relative. Oh, <laughs> of course. Of course. Didn't even, didn't even occur to me. Considering we were at war and all that, you know, jazz. But, oh, thank God, I was so sad. Ah, <sighs> sigh of relief. A sigh of relief. Thank God. God. All right. All right. Oh, now I feel kind of bad about the guy I executed. No, I don't. He stands against me. He deserves to die. All right. So over here at Luling, we have to wait two turns either way to replenish. Uh, this army over here next turn, they will be replenished. But again, they won't be like full strength or anything. Uh, they're not going to be replenishing or anything. So they'll, they will they might attack us. But I feel like we can defend the lumber. This is a good, evidently defendable lumberyard. Um, so, you know. We, we stand a chance. We stand a chance. Uh, and we can then push down south towards the toolmaker and uh, the livestock farm at Nanhai and stuff. While up over here, next turn, I'm hoping to hit that iron mine at Poyang. And then move towards Changsha and uh, ultimately, you know, Badong and stuff. While up over here, not 100% sure if this was the perfect call. But it's the call we made and it's the call we're going to have to live with. Uh, and this, uh, this army is making its moves. And you know what? With the money we made from that uh, battle... I can actually do a little bit more swapping around. Perhaps I should have waited to do that first, because then I can get a second trebuchet unit. In fact, I might replace my mounted archers with trebuchet. We've got the money for it. We can add some more uh, high-tier units to uh, some of our fans' retinue as well. He is, after all, my son, my heir, so he deserves it. Oh, dear. That was... Uh... Oof. Reforms available as well. I believe I was working towards this. So we can get our, uh, unlock the copper mining village. So let's go ahead and get that going. The Taoist alchemy. Excellent. In terms of the actual progress over here, very close to becoming the Imperial Prince. 15 off. That's like a couple of structures away. A couple of cities away, potentially. Look at all of that. Look at all of that. In fact, in fact. What about the salt mine at Suofang? What about the salt mine at Bolfang? I just want to see. I'm not going to necessarily do it right now. But surely we've got everything we need. Surely. We've got everything we need. This is not a bad. The engineer is not bad. Let's go with you. Yeah, we could add another... Military Great Axe in there, and that should probably take it to... Okay, 4.1. Then the fourth item would be the Forest Skin, I suppose. Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. It would make us a good bit of money, that's for sure. And anybody we can make trade agreements with or anything? Some, uh, you. A fair bit of money to be made. What would you want? A little bit of money? Maybe some food? Maybe some food. Wow, all my food wouldn't do it. Oh, because we're equal, I guess. It doesn't really make a difference. Sure, I can offer... regular payments. Of like 100, 200, 300. We end up net positive, even with 400. Because again, the trade agreement itself is worth 711. So at least for the next 10 turns. Sure, we're not making as much, but we're still making money. So... You know, no harm there. Uh, alternatively, of course, we can just give him an ancillary and not take that hit as well, but I almost want to keep those ancillaries for trading territories. Go ahead and propose this deal. Good stuff. What? We're equal now? Come on now. Not that fast. Breaking deals shortly after signing them will hopefully be gone soon. Annexation, which has been with us since the beginning of this campaign, will hopefully be gone soon. So, you know, we might be at... Uh, Negative 13 soon. <laughs> That'll feel good. Right, okay. So that was pretty intense. Uh, we have held our ground well enough, I think. Um, don't know how well that's going to go for Sangyong. Like, again, we te uh, technically we didn't hold our ground. Uh, technically we lost ground. We lost Poyang. We lost the iron mine over here. Uh, and it's going to have time to replenish, unfortunately. And be in a position to defend itself. But between the trebuchet and the uh, archers who can't shoot fiery arrows, unfortunately. But... But between all the units we have over here, uh, taking the iron mine back shouldn't be a problem. 
this rebellion bothers me a little bit, that it still stands. I'll have to see what I do about that, because Poyang, while it's got a garrison, it's not, you know, if this becomes a full stack, it might be a problem. So, hmm, a little worried about that. Uh, but this is also, this is the, this is the actual scary part. Basically two armies, two and a half stacks, I would say, headed towards us. And we saw a full stack somewhere over here, but it pulled away. We don't know where to, so... Stuff to worry about, that's for sure. And we have another uh, quarter stack over here. Okay, fair enough. Folks, with great, uh, with grave concern, I should say, uh, I'm calling this a session over here. Just over that hour mark. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It was certainly a costly session. We have paid quite the price. Uh, but hey, sometimes that that's what makes it fun. As always... A massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big ol' thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.